Okay. No rules. No rules? No Wait, rules? No rules? I don't know. Well, what? Well, <laughs> well, we have to have some, you have to have. Well, we got to be safe. We, right. We, and and we, we have to have some sort of rules of engagement. All right. Because well, otherwise I'm going to cheat. So right. you okay, have to right. give three me. To, three to five shots. Okay. Uh, here's the deal. Three to five shots and at least, uh, what, how many targets do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think they're nine. Nine. Nine targets. Nine targets. So, uh, no target, no, you can't have the same number of shots on six targets or more. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So just randomize this three to five shots. Can't have the same number of shots. Why, wait a minute. Six Tell me what? from a tactical reason why it matters how many shots I put on the target. Well, here's the thing. If you always shoot the same number of shots, now you're padding your shots. Yeah, but so. now I'm trying to not shoot the same amount. Yes. All right. I'm uh, not sure I got enough ammo to shoot five on each of them. That's 45. You got 45 in one magazine. No, I don't. You got these Terran tactical these are, things on here. This is a plus seven extension. <laughs> these are 20s. So, I so don't, that's 60. So I don't have enough. You got so, 60 rounds. So somewhere you're going to find a way to penalize me. 60 rounds. Why can't we just shoot uh, four shots on each target? Oh, my God. All right. So right already. No, wait, 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 wait. No, let's, let me this change has it. just become impractical. At least one A zone hit on every target. Shoot all targets as many times as I want. But at least three times. Yes. Okay. At least three. See, this is why. This is exactly how it stops being real. It's already not real. So. Well, because because now I have to try to avoid being disqualified from the event in case I show up and I've got five targets with five hits on them. You you'd put in the disclaimer. Yeah, that I would. No six Sh targets. And where it whereas the coroner would not say, oh, sorry, you killed all these people with the same amount of shots. Well, we could just shoot each time once, and eventually they'll bleed out if we don't let them get to it. Oh no, I could go for one shot headshots on everybody. I can't do that. I can. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, I can do that. I'm going to go get a rifle. So check it out. I get it. Three shots minimum, one shot in the go. A zone. But suspension of disbelief, here's where we do have some rules that are practical, right? I have to pretend right. that I don't know where every target is. Right. That's right? And that's just an inherent weakness right? of, and, and so of a pre These are real walls in our imaginary world. And what I've done is now I've just, the only thing we've changed from the last time we did this thing with, with all rules is from the box, you can't see the first target, right? Okay. You have to engage that target first, and that is the first target over there. So okay. from the box now, you've got to stand in a position where you can't make eye contact because what I want you to do is I want you to have to find that first target and I'll already be rehearsing that target just with a step forward. You have to move in a position that exposes that target and then shoot it. Okay. The rest of it, do whatever you want. Okay, well, what are going to be your parameters regarding cover? And are you going to give me guidelines through it? Or am I simply going to, I mean, I got to know, I, well, all I'm asking is not for you to turn this into a game. Right. I need to know what the parameters for judgment are. So the parameters are, what I want to see you do is engage that target and then move from here to those barrels. Okay. You're going to go to the far side of the barrels because your daughter is over there on the other side screaming for help. Okay. And Anytime you're exposed to a target, you need to engage it. So anytime a target could see you, if these if these are real walls, okay. anytime a target could see you, you need to engage it. Okay, fair that enough. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. This thing? Yeah. I don't even think we need this for this. No. Do you want a number I don't want on it? See, we? I think you should judge me subjectively. Yeah, absolutely. All, All right. right. You you ready? No, I gotta load up. Stand by. Good. I don't see anything else to shoot. All right. You can holster. Did I load? When did I reload? Well, uh, you didn't. You never ran out of bullets. No, I did. Oh, uh, maybe you did. It was so fast. Yeah, back there. Well, All I right. don't even remember doing. You just dropped. Yeah, that happened. So I immediately forgot. Right. Because to, you got sucked I, well, in. I, and I immediately forgot to shoot three shots on target. You did. I noticed that. And I was wondering if you were going to go back. You did go back. But here's the other thing. You kind of stayed in the railroad tracks for a little while. And then only after your reload is when you actually move. Well, it never occurred to me to. Right? Why would you leave the railroad? Stay in tracks? the lines. Right. Stay. Okay. So you're good there. You're good there. You're good there. You're good there. But see, this is the trick. Technically, right? You exposed yourself to greater danger because if we're assuming, for the sake of our pseudo game here, that 
once you once a target sees you, it can hurt you until you finish shooting it, right? You were you were shooting and then shooting here. Well, that guy's still shooting at you. So when you're here, right? You're shooting. You shot those guys, and then you shot these guys. These guys are still shooting at you. You're now engaging four targets at once, as opposed to just staying here and finishing with that guy, finishing with that guy, finishing with that guy, and finishing with that guy, and then deciding to move. I just think I did it so fast. But you didn't even notice. I'm pretty sure I, I noticed. I, well, we no, I, I couldn't see more than one target at a time. Right. But but remember, you went back to shoot it more. Oh, you mean okay? You're see, right. Yeah. Once I shot everybody, the two that my brain processes, right. then it, what's the very first thing headed. I did? My then my brain said, Oh, you boy. did it wrong. Shoot right. everybody again. And that's where we get into this pattern. So you've patterned this two shots, two shots, two shots, and you went to your habit. Right. You went back to your, your rut in the road, right? Right. So okay, so you met all the criteria. Now let's pace these up and, and I'll take a take a go at it. Sure, do all it right. again. All right, now remember, think about it. What we we said as the parameter is that your daughter now now it's my daughter. Now I'm in the box. <laughs> my daughter's over there. She needs my help. I know there's multiple bad guys around here because I, I know there's people shooting all over the place. And we talked about not seeing this first target, but what we didn't mention before, and this is sort of implicit in the, the tactics of it, is those guys see me right here, right? So the first thing you did was step forward and shoot this guy kind of staying inside the lines and you were still exposed to that guy. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is cut that angle down so I get out of the way of them. I don't want to shoot somebody at 30 yards if I don't have to, right? I do. Well, sure you do, <laughs> but if not from in the open. Yeah. Now I'm here and I'm exposed to these two guys. And that was really the issue the whole time with the one, 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 going back, 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 right. is you're fighting four guys at once instead of fighting one guy at a time. Right. So that's gonna be my primary approach to this, is how can I just fight one guy at a time, right. cut this angle down, and then get over there to, to you know, finish the, the stage, win the level, right. no, defeat I get the it. boss, whatever can, you gamers can, call it. Be the boss. Like, whatever, <laughs> be the man. So, be the boss. all right, so I think I'm good. Uh, whenever, right. whenever you're ready to say go, I'll go. You're set to go. I'm, all right. Are you ready? Stand ready? by, go. Lost my mic. Time. Lost your mic. All right. Excellent. Well, obviously, the very first thing that happens is you're out. You're an outside the box thinker. Yeah. Well, I'm looking right for any the, advantage I could get. Right. Exactly. So the first thing you did was get close. Sure. Yeah. Because so it, it, if it, I could cut the angle on the cover, remember I got these guys and this guy. I know you need to go over there, but why leave these guys? Now I have. I'm fighting zero people while I draw. Now I'm fighting one person, right? So I'm coming up here. I, I see this guy. I'm fighting one person. I put him down. I come over to here. Oh, there's a guy. Put him down. Window. Him down. Come up here. Here's another window. Boom, boom. Hit, put him down. Oh, there's a guy. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Coming around. Bang, 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 bang. Now I'm always just fighting one person. Maximize the use of cover. All right. Now I get it. Very different. I get it completely. It's just... And, and that's that's the whole point of this whole series is that we think completely differently. Right. I mean, mine is how do I get the best performance out of this very fine out, finite series of positions I have to be in? You throw that away and go like, hey, you know what I'm going to do? Now you're going to go through and do it my way. I'm going to do it your way. All right, now you do the same thing. Close the distance, cut the angles, engage each target individually as you come as up they on come it. Along. Same thing. Minimum three shots, at least one in the A zone. Stand by. Yeah. Did I shoot you? All right, we gotta get there, gotta get there, gotta get there, gotta get there, gotta get there. <laughs> We already shot him. I don't care. I don't care. At this All point, right. you got it. This tear, I believe nothing. Holster. All right. So, so there you go. So look. So obviously, I like I shot. Well, it's like a hundred times better, easier. Except, what? He had a plate on. No way, zone. He had a plate on. I had to shoot <laughs> to the side of his plate. <laughs> That's you can't. He had a plate. Rules he had a plate on. He had a plate on. He had a plate on. 
So this is what happens. When there isn't a set of standardized rules, sometimes those performance issues a lot. You shot way better than I did. I mean, that's a three inch group from 20 feet, two inch group from 20 feet, but just off kilter from where right. we said. So if we were gonna do it, it's like, oh, well, you didn't shoot that guy, except in, in defensive shooting land, that's plenty fine. You did good. Yeah, that's right? plenty fine. And so what happened? The one thing, so up here, you kind of exposed, you, you went and shot this guy, we were exposed here, you came back and then came back in this way. Right. At one point, you weren't sure that you had shot that guy, so you came back over and shot that guy again. And when you came back over and shot that guy again, you forgot your whole like end of phase was getting to the area over here. So then when you got over here, it was like, oh, here's another target, and you shot it. And I would never say it was good. If he's still up, shoot him. I don't care, shoot yeah. him. Yeah, there's no rule that says you can't I'm shoot shooting. him. I had bullets left, I'm shooting him. Expose yourself to one target, cut the angles, make the shots as easy as you can. That's how we cheat in defensive training.